Alrighty guys, welcome back to a different day, a different dollar. I'm Saturday, we're over at Kyle's house, and it looks like he's had fun taking down the paint booth. He's watched it up into a corner over here. I don't have enough room in my trash to get this I don't off. know, we're gonna have to bring my truck over with the canopy and we're wad. We're gonna have to load it with all of the stuff and go to the What'd dump. you do with the, you put all that out back still? What? Oh, I got just the lumber stack right there. Oh, gotcha. I had to cut some of it off because you went a little ham with the staples. I did what? <laughs> you, you went a little ham with the staples. Yeah? Well, I didn't want... I know. Did we get any overspray on anything other than inside the paint booth? Uh, no. No? No, my refrigerator took a little bit of dust, but for the most part, a little thinner takes it off of there. This is... Oh, yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah. Not worried about it. <laughs> it's a little red. I get it all taken care of. And, uh... Whoop. Yeah, it's a um, beautiful day here. We've had a just a shitty just a work shit week. week. My work week sucked. <coughs> While John was here, I didn't work very much. And then all of a sudden, the floodgates opened up, and that's why we haven't had any videos. Yeah, it's time That truck is literally, since John's painted, is sat in the garage. And I, I'm di wow. you're dying to see it, aren't you guys? I think it looks pretty good for uh, first... first um, well, I guess it wasn't John's first paint job, but our first... Uh, for two weeks, slamming this thing together. Yeah, no. No, it came out good. It came out really good. It came out damn good. There is a little bit of dust in the clear, um, we've yeah, noticed. But I'm gonna I'm gonna clay bar it. It does it's not bad though, guys. I mean, I don't know how else you would do it in a garage. We didn't get every little ding ding and dent out of this pickup. No. But it looks like a pickup again. Yep. So I think it's gonna look good. Once we get the wheels and tires back on it. Yeah. What do you got there, Uncle Kyle? Hi, Courtney. How much was this? Do you want to? No? <laughs> it was expensive. Yeah. For so, one part. Don't get your, st don't get a staple in here. So, to get. Ooh. Just it's... this bar. Just the bar. Hardware, no hardware. No nothing. It's two hundred and five dollars. Now, now, now. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I get it. I get it. And whoa! <laughs> Whack! Whack! Hit the paint. I think this is good because I've been looking through this and I think this is gonna solve our problems. Yeah. We don't think that there's anything else damaged on the front end, but until we get that bar replaced and take a look at it, that won't be till after the body is put back together. You see what she's wearing? Turn around. This is the, your last shot this Sunday. Is it down? Uh, the 27th. The 27th. So puts it's in. pretty cool. It's um, that's a really nice. It's uh, actually a pretty decent stick. Or, uh, how comfortable is it, Courtney? It's pretty comfortable. Pretty comfortable. Has you has you got your sweater? Uh, I didn't get a sweatshirt. I got a t-shirt. You got so, me a t-shirt? I, I will get you a t-shirt. I'm going to make another order. It means he didn't get me a t-shirt. Let's see the sticker. Oh, I got the sticker. All right. There's your channel stickers, guys. Die cast. Die cut. Die cut. Die cut. I thought it was going to be the acrylic. I was wrong. Yeah, but... But... Can't put one on the fridge. There it is, guys. Uh, I only got two of them, so... Two channels, one project not edited because that that date did not um it, that no. was our original but that was the original send home date and that's what day it was finished. for your refrigerator toolbox pickup pickup i got john foxes on the back of that this morning yeah yeah right down there at the oh bottom. yeah the rest of them are gonna go away got a fox shop sticker and then we'll have the collaboration sticker probably on here and then our channel sticker or something on here 
So there you guys go, guys. Um, go pick you up one before these are discontinued. I know I'm going to. And uh, we'll catch you guys in a minute. I don't know exactly what we're all going to do to here today. Sounds like the battery's getting a little low. It's because we don't have the belt hooked up. It's gonna look good, guys. Core supports and all that good stuff's next. Well guys, made it back over to Papa's house with the air compressor. Uh, Kyle, Kyle and I got that disconnected, loaded back up, and bringing it back over to stick it back in its location. So Papa can uh, use it to blow up some tires. He just got home from Bermuda, just went through that hurricane, hurricane out there uh, in the ocean. I guess it wasn't terrible, but it was uh, some, a new experience. But um, yeah. Not going to be working on much today. Uh, it's just, I'm tired. I just hit a wall. Uh, I, I literally, you know, got the truck done after going, you know, a million miles an hour with John being here. And then I went right back to work and I had to play catch up at work. And uh, at least I'm getting a little bit of a video out for you guys. You got to see the truck in the, in the sunlight today. I'm exhausted. I'm just, I, I could go to bed right now. I'm just, I'm just bleh update on the six liter i don't know we haven't really talked much about the six liter uh, a lot of upgrades are coming uh, very soon to the 05 six liter um, i'm very happy with the purchase i'm very happy with the pickup it kind of makes my 7.3 here kind of makes it look like crap that truck's really nice it's one of the nicest trucks i've ever owned i'm very happy with it um, I need to do a lot of work on the 7.3. Uh, the front suspension, it's sloppy. It's just, the steering's sloppy. It just needs a lot of love, and uh, we're going to probably have to show that to her real soon. I would like to get this truck, now that I've learned some painting skills, uh, this body on this pickup, it's not perfect. This side's not bad. There's a lot of rock chips. Uh, it's missing the badge. There's some dings in it here and there. There's a lot of imperfections. The headlights suck. Bumper sucks. Uh, I think Absolute Customs makes a bumper for this. It might be a, an idea. Um, get some pricing on a bumper. Kind of give her some... There's just rock chips everywhere. The hood. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Oh, yeah. After uh, we had a bad winter a couple years ago, the hood cracked really bad. Um, I'm not a big fan of these dang mirrors that I just put on it. Remember the video we just did a, a month back or so? The plastic's already fading, so don't buy the cheap mirrors. I don't, rec I don't recommend those. And there's just a lot of, you know, a little bit of body work. Somebody shot it with the 22 round, I'm pretty sure, right there. I, I didn't do it. It was When I bought it, it was like that, but it's not perfect um this one is the six liter it doesn't need a paint job it's in really good shape but uh, if i repaint this it'll be the same green i'm gonna get rid of the gold on, i'm gonna get rid of the gold on the bottom uh, it's not gonna be my first paint job i would like to, probably the 200 dollars truck and uh kyle and i talked and we've got a little surprise um i'm i think it's gonna happen so let's go take a look uh um something that's coming up next month all right, guys, so um, twice a year we have a monster truck rally here in town, and um, they do the tough trucks, and um, Kyle and I have had this in inventory for a while, and we've just, we're not, we're not sure what we want to do with it. We're going to make a pro arena truck out of this. We are going to turn this into a pro arena truck. Uh, we're going to put a paint job on it get rid of the canopy, modify the suspension, and we're going to have a, pro, a Central Oregon Shenanigans Pro Arena truck. So um, stay tuned for that. Um, 
it's a pretty nice old truck, but what it's worth, it, it would be fun to just, you know, have a little pro reading truck. And we might uh, eventually, if it works out all good, uh, throw a V8 in it, fuel injection, like 5.0, and um, have some fun with it. Um, get some great content for you guys and have fun on our, our end uh, rallying the old Ranger around a track and see if we can't win or something. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. What do you guys think? Drop it in the comments below. Should we just leave it alone, sell it, get rid of it, or should we keep it and turn it into a pro arena truck? Let me know. Pop is back from Bermuda. He's looking uh, quite shaggy. A little bit shaggy. I'll, uh, I'll share my Bermuda, um, my, my uh, Hurricane Umberta pictures with you later. Uh, you made it. You didn't die. I made it. Uh, living through a hurricane was not on my bucket list, um, but I met my neighbor Larry, so we had Larry and Larry and cocktails for uh, Bermuda Hurricane. It was quite the uh, quite the ordeal. Well, I'm gonna go get my brother-in-law, and we're gonna unload that uh, air compressor. Uh, drop in the comments uh, down below what you guys think of a pro arena truck. And it's Sunday, guys. You guys are gonna have a late Sunday video. Didn't really do much yesterday. I apologize. This whole video, I didn't really get to do much. Just kind of taking it easy, catching up on some things around the house. I'm gonna be finishing. I'm gonna be finishing the Absolute Customs bumper today, tonight. It's gonna be done tonight, and then that video will be up this week. I'm about two weeks behind schedule on that. And then if that goes well tonight, I'm also going to be buttoning up and putting that together. That is the rear bumper for Kyle's truck. Um, I also want to show you guys what the sticker looks like on the fridge. So I'm going to go grab that. I'm going to stick it on the fridge, on the sticker fridge here. Uh, the Kyle is doing a discount. I don't know what it is on the sticker. Go check them out. There's a discount on the sticker. And I think there's discounts on all the t-shirts, hoodies, coffee mugs. I, I want to say it's 15% off and it'll be done Friday. Friday is the last time you'll ever see the collaboration logo and um, stickers and, and hoodies and stuff. Go check it out. Uh, we've got our shirts and stickers. They look great. If you guys are wondering what's rumbling in the background, you're just gonna have to stay, t I'm just kidding. Let's go take her for a drive, guys. It's been sitting for nine months. Maybe more, maybe less. I don't remember. She's not happy. She needs, I'm gonna go put some fuel in it. It's got insurance on it, so let's go take a drive. We're gonna have to do another oil change on her after all that gas went through her. I think I'm gonna do that this week. I'm gonna start picking away at the Bronco again. I need a backup vehicle to drive. My wife's truck's gonna need some work. The $200 truck is nowhere near. We're gonna put a steering box in this Bronco and we're gonna do a drive line and some other things to get this thing, um, to get this thing for as a backup vehicle for right now. And uh, mechanically, that doesn't need much. Rotten away. We are gonna do something with this damn thing. I'm done watching it sit over here. It's either I'm gonna sell this son of a bitch we're gonna have to start driving it. So loyal, so loyal. I put a battery in it, primed the fuel pump, fired right up two pumps, and it just started idling, just purring like a kitten, guys. Power steering work is working. What the hell? What the hell? We need to put some air in the back tires when we get in the driveway. That's weird. It's working okay to the. We've got flat spots in the tires. Jesus. All right, guys. It's all aired up. Uh, let's go take it for a spin. definitely got some work to do in the brakes and the suspension. 
suspension, guys. We need shocks on the rear still. check out the merch uh, that's not going to be ending or uh, not going to be uh, available much longer uh, till next time guys if you're turning in for the first time you guys hit that subscribe and remember it's always a different day and it's always a different dollar see you here